Coke wastes Taika Waititi for Christmas, and Beats by Dre challenges your love of black culture with your treatment of black people. I'm Jeff Beer, and this is Fast Company's brand, Hit Miss of the Week. The miss this week goes to Coca-Cola. In case you don't know, Christmas and the holiday season is basically the Super Bowl of British advertising. Starting now, major brands start rolling out epic ads to hit you in the holly jolly heartstrings. This week, Coke unveiled its ad that tracks a determined dad's journey to deliver his daughter's letter to Santa. Of course, Watiti is an incredibly talented director, and it's a beautiful looking commercial, but it's also one that hits every single Christmas ad cliche. Epic journey while using the desire for love and connection over material possession to advertise a product, it's all here. But if you're gonna hire Taika Waititi to direct your big budget Christmas ad, why not make something with just a sliver of his humor and style? This is the guy behind Jojo Rabbit, Hunt for the Wilder People, What We Do in the Shadows, Thor Ragnarok, and this amazing New Zealand PSA about driving high. One of Watiti's biggest strengths is combining emotional sweetness and physical timing with hilariously clever dialogue. This ad has no dialogue at all. The whale has more lines than the dad. Am I being too pedantic here? It's not a bad commercial. It's exactly the kind of big budget emo ad you'd expect from a global corporation that's been using sentiment to sell sugar water for generations. What's a miss for me here, given Watiti's pedigree, are the sheer levels of miss potential. It's the advertising equivalent of asking Santa for a new bike, but instead getting a really nice pair of socks. The hit this week goes to Beats by Dre. In Spike Lee's classic 1989 film, Do the Right Thing, there's a scene where the racist pizza slinger named Pino tries to rationalize the difference between his love of Prince, Magic Johnson, and Eddie Murphy, and his general disdain for black people. They're, they're not really black. I mean, they're black, but they're not really black. They're, they're more than black. It's, it's, it's different. It's different. Yeah, to me it's... Except of course it's not different. Do the Right Thing was 30 years ago, and yet the gulf between America's love of black culture and the systemic racism still inflicted on its black citizens not only remains tragically intact, that gap is arguably even wider. Now Beats by Dre is addressing this hypocrisy head on in a new ad. It's a two minute epic directed by Melina Matsukas, written by Lena Waithe, and with music by Solange Knowles. It features everyday people and activists alongside stars like Naomi Osaka, Bubba Wallace, and Lil Baby. Created with agency translation, the ad represents Beat's ambition to get back to the kind of edgy, culturally relevant, stylish as all hell advertising of its heyday last decade. The consistent quality and cultural hits of Beat's advertising from about 2013 to 2015 is arguably one of the greatest, albeit brief, runs in advertising history. From Colin Kaepernick and LeBron to Serena Williams and Straight Outta Compton, for a short time, in terms of style and hype, it was out Nikeing even Nike ads. Then, over the last few years, for whatever reason, the brand stopped making the kind of ads that people will look forward to. CMO Chris Thorne, who started with the brand last year, told me the goal with this new spot is to put the brand back on the path to that throne. Beats not only made its name perfectly articulating the ties between sports, music, and broader culture, but did so by showing superstars as people, the people and hard work behind the stardom. This new ad gets Beats back to that, but in a different way. Now focusing on the black experience versus Americans' often hypocritical relationship with black culture. As the narrator says, you love black culture, but do you love me? What a world that would be. Beats is back.